<laughs> okay, so Verity, tell me, what were your biggest struggles before coming on board and connecting with us? Um, so before it was, um, I think, with other plans and programmes that I'd had, it was for quite a short period of time but the expectation was you will lose x in this time and you will do this and everyone will get those results by everyone almost following the same plans mm. so i would always follow you know to the letter and six weeks would go by and there wouldn't be necessarily the drastic changes that i was expecting because that's what I had been told to expect um, and even a couple of times having coaches say well what are you doing wrong and assuming it was something that either I was lying or wasn't wasn't doing things properly um, and that kind of had a bit of a negative cycle then on how I saw weight loss because I would get demotivized, de demotivated sorry after a short period of time because I wasn't seeing the results that I thought I should be seeing in comparison to you know other people um mm -hmm. so that was um and then but struggling to to can to do it alone I think as well yeah absolutely and that's a big problem when we're in big you know volume plans and the structure's the same and and yeah. you know our bodies are all reacting differently yet you know we're there given the same advice as somebody else and when we are looking at progress there's so many variables to consider especially with women with our hormone function and yeah. I massively connect with you, Verity, on that because when I started my journey, I had a coach and I remember I followed everything to a T and I went to do my check-in and I hadn't lost any weight on the scale. And I I told him, I and and he said, Well, you must have cheated. Yeah. I, said, I haven't I have not cheated. I've given everything to this. Like, I can't tell you how much I want this. Like, I've been the biggest woman for so long. I want this so badly. But and then he just tells me we well, must have cheated. And I'm like, I have not. Yeah. Um, so I totally connect with you on that. And when it comes to losing weight, what are your biggest struggles? Like before you connected with us, like what do you think was really holding you back the most? Um, I think an element of definitely um, an issue with um, sugar cravings and mm -hmm. emotional eating and kind of being in that that cycle of perhaps not great habits um and struggling to know how to break those habits um and also i work a a full-time kind of office job so yeah. being able to actually kind of hit steps was something that i really struggled with uh, so kind of a lot around food but then also in terms of movement luckily something that I did have is I know how to train at the gym and I know what muscle groups I need to work on and and things like that so that side I wasn't too worried about but it really felt like the other parts were what was holding holding me back and that big piece of relationship with food yes yeah yeah massive and also understanding, um, which you touched on as well, in that how my hormones and my cycle can impact my energy levels, my cravings, my mood, and how that will impact how well I perform physically, and also then what I'm putting into my body. Mm -hmm. um, so to be able to connect with my coach on that basis and have that understanding is something that I've never had before and did really appeal to me kind of when um, joining. Um, so that's been a massive change, a really positive. Yeah. And my favourite question, what are your biggest achievements from being on the programme and here you are today? Like, what are we celebrating today? Um, so, so far in the programme, I've lost um, eight kg. 
um, which has not necessarily been linear, um, but it has felt consistent. Mm -hmm. um, and I've still been able to, with the support of Lou, um, still do social things and still do fun yeah. things, cut myself off from family and friends and doing you know those nice things in life um but actually having that support to be able to say i'm going to go to this restaurant what yeah. it is to have um and never having that support or idea in terms of knowing to, what kind of good choices to make um mm. has been really positively impactful um in terms of then how i look at it kind of on my own when i'm in a, a last minute situation that I can make those decisions myself those smart decisions mm. um and I think as well kind of cutting my sugar cravings um because of the meal plans being so um so detailed but so easy these yeah. are probably the easiest meals in terms of being able to prepare both that night but also I like to meal prep, um, really easy to do that, but actually really tasty and really nutritious. And quite mm. a few plans that I've been on, it's been very bland, basic food, no seasoning, no variety. Um, and it's quite nice to have meals that actually I could, I can host to friends and they have no yeah. idea being part of, you know, a, a meal plan that I have. Um, so those have been some really amazing wins so far. I love that. And is there any big wins that have happened in your life? Like, is there anything that you can do now that you weren't doing before? Um, for me, definitely, it's being more conscious in terms of my steps um, mm. and trying to be more active throughout the day. Um, and I've really had support from Lou on that in terms of ideas of what's achievable, mm. um, what I can do in my lunch, what I can't do, and having realistic goals as well, nice. um, so that it does feel achievable, um, and and having that check in to to review as well um, has been so. It's a lot more on my mind in terms of I want to hit those goals, and because I've had success in doing those so far it does give that encouragement and motivation to to keep doing that so mm. yeah that's been a really a really nice win good good yeah and so important for health and 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 you know longevity and is there anything that's really surprised you in the program that you've loved that you d didn't realize you you would learn or have in the program anything that's really shone out for you um i think massively even from kind of day one of having my first um kind of video consultations is how personalized everything mm. is and that my experience was really heard and i felt it was heard oh, and so nice. um so i get emotional because yeah i i'm it, feeling that i've never had support like this before where i really feel heard and things are so catered and the support is there um even if you know Lou my coach will say what meals have you really liked what what have you not oh you don't like this type of food swap it for one of these in that meal and it will work great um so that has been re like really amazing um so to to have that support and someone that is is on your side yeah as opposed to saying or you're doing something wrong, I think has really changed the mindset in helping to to lose weight and have that healthier lifestyle. Yeah, that real wing woman energy of I feel I feel heard. Like those words are so special to hear, and it's a wing woman energy of we've got this and yeah. we're going to get through this and, and we're doing this together. And actually, then the journey becomes enjoyable. It doesn't feel lonely. It doesn't feel like a burden. It actually feels like a beautiful opportunity where you're stepping into this new verity, you know, th this new woman, this new identity. And we absolutely always feel so honored to be a part of women's journeys because it's such a huge shift and, and um, yeah. so, so special. If 
a lady's tuning into this today and they really want to start their journey, maybe they've been, they've done diets before and nothing's worked for them. What advice would you give them? Um, primarily getting in touch with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think the fact that actually the amount of um, care and attention that was given before even, you know, having to sign up and commit to anything um, really helped me understand in terms of what was different about the programme, what was on offer. Um, and that kind of first step mm. can, can be massive. Um, but the fact that it is very personable. Um, and I would definitely say just in general, it's small changes and small goals that perhaps aren't necessarily linked to what's on the scales or um a, a dress size but more in terms of making those long lasting life changes for mm -hmm. um, a better lifestyle so i've already said to luke that you know quite a lot of the meals that i've had i'm going to use for life because they're such fantastic meals that yeah, you can do with friends and family um and it's also helping me lose weight in the process mm. so it's those kind of smaller goals that are then impacting the, the, the main goals and, and the bigger goals. Um, I hope that kind of answers the question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So focus, focusing on those micro small goals, yeah. focus on taking a healthy step every week, and then the weight loss happens as a byproduct. This is what I always say. Let's get you healthier in a pace that feels really enjoyable and not overwhelming. And then the weight will come off. It will absolutely come off and you'll be left with this blueprint and this lifestyle and routine that you will just continue to initiate when you leave the program. And that that is absolutely our one of our core values of being able to give you that that toolkit and 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 have you be able to manage your weight in your body long term. So that's a whole principle of of the the menus we use is they they the menus that I'm eating, you know, they're, they're foods that we can continue to eat. And that's really important piece of the sustainability. Um, thank you so much for joining me today and being so open and honest about your journey and your okay. incredible wins. Um, it's been such a pleasure to have you. I'm really excited for the, the months to come for you as well. So thank you so, so much for your time, Verity. Oh, thank you so much, Emily. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>